guys, what is going on? And welcome back to another video on Conqueror's Blade. So, for no particularly good reason, I thought we'd go back and have a little bit of a look at the Senji, the Imperial Grenadiers, and, well, give them a little bit of a play. As you kind of know if you've been following my channel for a while, I'm not really much of a range player, to be honest. I probably prefer muskets to archers, with the exception of perhaps the houndsman, I, I do have a slight soft spot there, but I tend to mostly just play melee. But I do like every now and then to have a little bit of a range dabble, so I thought we'd pull out the Senjis just to see kind of what they're like, because they're actually probably one of the most played tier 5 ranged units at the moment. Actually, probably the most played, played high tier ranged unit. You see them absolutely everywhere because of their combination of grenades and muskets. Very quickly, this isn't, you know, a long unit in-depth video, so I'm not going to go through it all, but very quickly, I've just gone along the top veterancy line, and in terms of doctrines, got a couple of things like, you know, the, the heavy shield and stuff, because we are starting to see more imp shields and a few stalwarts kicking around, rate of fire, bit of accuracy, extra health, and, of course, the extra grenades doctrine that comes with the Senjis. Anyway, let's hop into some battles then, see what we can do, see if we can, well, kill anyone with our grenades. So we kick things off with a little bit of Orlenburg. Not a map I normally really enjoy, to be honest, but I don't know. Enjoyed it quite a lot on this one. Anyway, we're already basically back to the final defence point. There's a little bit of cap left on C, but realistically, no one bothers defending C on this map. Uh, I don't know why I'm just running, running into some grape shots. But anyway, defending this end of the map. Because they're still capping C, they're not really pushing the other gateway yet, so it's just buying us some time. Few people pushing in, you know, we've got two sets of Senjis here, two grape shots and pikes. Th th there's no way they're realistically getting in. Do get a few enemy jabs pushing in the other end, so I try a little bit of long range shooting. And actually, the Senjis do this pretty well, they're quite an accurate unit. So you can actually get some plinking shots. And when you're hitting for sort of 2 to 4k, you know, sort of higher with the, the critical end, then it's actually quite effective. But anyway, with those shots going in, the enemy. Well, starting to push in a little bit from that C side of the gate now. So I had to just to hold where I am for now. I'm kind of half trying to keep an eye on both directions, as well as thinking about when they're going to come in. I've obviously got my grenades. The benefit of the grenades is not almost just a grenade, but it's the extra bonus rate of fire and damage you get post-grenade. So once you throw grenades with the Senjis, they shoot quite a lot quicker for the next 10 seconds, so long as you don't move them. So, really, in many ways, oh, here we go, in many ways, throwing the grenades isn't really about getting kills or damage with the grenades, it's almost as much about triggering the bonus damage, which works quite well and helps us clear out that point. Anyway, again, I'm sort of thinking, uh, do I want to move, do I not? Kind of in quite a nice spot here, you know, I've got pikes covering one way, I'm kind of in a nice little corner that I can shoot at relatively safely. I'm safe from any enemy range or anything like that, so I'm quite happy, at least for a little bit, just plinking away. Although I am starting to use up quite a bit of ammo here now. Oh, second hero come. And so that's kind of why I decided to move in the end. Because I started to push in a little bit from both directions. Got a few cav here, um, just a few stragglers. That poor guy got literally blasted her right in the face by about 15 guns. <laughs> so, just pulling back. And we use guns just working our way through. Actually quite a few enemies actually around this back bit trying to push our back supply. But we've got quite a few teammates here coming in. A fair bit of melee stuff pushing in, so good to have good teammates. And we can just help push up. Third hero kill. Um, and then obviously we recap the supply line. That gives me the opportunity. Just try and clinch a few little snapshots against those enemy cav as they retreat. We get one of them. You know, things like that. You always want to snapshot it when you're shooting at distance like that. They won't auto-aim in time. If you just press 1, quickly aim at the enemy and just click, they should at least get a volley off, hopefully, and, and at that sort of distance, you will get some decent amount of damage. Anyway, we're coming back. I'm trying to decide if I wanted to grenade into there. I, I don't really like fighting at this point in the map, to be honest. Um, the problem being, it's so vulnerable to being trapped. But, you know, you kind of got no choice when the enemy's pushing on point here. Anyway, with the shield, I decide let's just go for the grenade lob now. Give me the extra damage. I tried, I nearly moved when that trap came, but... I was trying to just see if it wasn't going to land quite on me, and it wasn't. And I didn't want to lose my 10 second uh, rate of fire buff. Because look, we've picked up, well, we're up to 60 kills now. And a lot of them happened just in the last sort of 10, 20 seconds. So you don't really want to move the unit if you don't have to. Obviously, it would have been a small consolation if the trip had been right on me and I'd got absolutely obliterated. Anyway, 
We as we clear that out, the enemy turns up kind of on the other side. I'm thinking, ooh, my grenades may be just coming off cooldown here very shortly. I thought we're getting pretty close, so I decided to come up pretty close. Go for the grenade throw. They thankfully brace those um, uh, palace guards, which is nice for me, and we could just blast away into it. The, uh, the little um, Falconetti at the back do cause me a little bit of damage, but I think we actually end up losing them, and we basically get ourselves up to 100 kills. And basically had zero kills when we started bringing this unit out. We'd had a terrible start to the game. So it's amazing how quickly you can pick up damage with this unit. Nothing else really seems to have that potential as a ranged unit. Or quite so much damage so quickly. Particularly when you make use of the grenades and the resultant buff that you get from the grenades. I almost think the buff from the grenades is actually better than the grenades themselves. Even though it is very satisfying knocking everyone over with the grenades. And... Very annoying being on the receiving end of it, <laughs> as I have been on many occasions. Anyway, since there was a bit of a bit of a lull in the fighting, I decided to send the unit back, get it back to the supply point, get them uh, a little restocked on grenades and ammo, while it's kind of a bit of a lull. Once we got them restocked, just bringing them back up to the front line, we're actually starting to get to the point where I think we're starting to deplete the enemies quite heavily of units now. So there's kind of looking a little bit of potential to start pushing out, start pushing onto the enemy a little bit. So I'm starting to get a smidge more aggressive. And I get a little bit too aggressive here. I actually push forwards thinking, oh, actually, maybe, maybe I'm getting a too, little bit too cocky here. The uh, teammates actually close the doorways because they were amazingly still intact, but it's not going to buy as much time. I pull back a little bit and then I'm thinking uh, I'm probably going to want to grenade here soon. Which was the right move. They are starting to push in, go for the grenade. It comes a lot of them back in the gateway. But some of the enemy heroes start to push forwards. Good move on their part, to be honest, playing it kind of right. Sometimes you've just got to push in to get to the gun line. Trying to fight inside a narrow gateway like they were doing. It's just a massacre because I can just pummel you know, lead in there constantly. This Nadachi does a really good job of getting in amongst me. It costs him his life, but it gives him his team actually a fighting chance of getting through that gateway. We still have enough stuff here, and we've got enough troops remaining that it doesn't really pan out for them. But that move by that enemy Nadachi actually gave them a fighting chance. Otherwise, I would have just picked up another 30 kills, just sitting there blasting into the gateway. Sometimes when you're fighting Senji, you just have to go in to get the kill. Or any ranged unit, really. It could be Houndsman, it could be Tercio, it could be any musket unit. Because otherwise, if you're fighting in a choke point, they will just be able to absolutely massacre you. As a hero or as a unit, it doesn't really matter. After that, it's really just a little bit of a game of clear up. This guy managed to get a cheeky little kill on one of my poor units, but he runs past. But the rest of the time, we're just going around slowly plinking stuff down until we secure the victory. That's why I always try and use my Senjis fairly aggressively. They're not a particularly slow unit. You can push them up quite easily, get some kills in and then retreat back. Obviously you've got to watch out for Cav and stuff like that, but in a situation like this where you've got plenty of allied support around... Oh, here we go. <laughs> it's easy easy to just push, push forward and start blasting in. You've just got to keep a vague eye on situational awareness to see where you are. And then, you know, obviously particularly when you've got a hill elevation, the grenades go further than the aim line suggests. For example, it's suggested that I wouldn't be able to reach. Yeah, I can. Helped because I've got a bit further elevation, so we can throw them a little bit further. But once you throw them in like that, you can see they pick up damage really, really quite quickly. Anyway, I think we'll end the video there. It's just going to be a short one. I just had kind of a little bit of fun playing them. And I'm mostly just trying to play units for fun, really, at the moment. I'm not really trying to do anything too specific. Just enjoying a few little random units as the feeling takes me. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel for lots more Conqueror's Blade content. Thanks for watching, guys, and I shall see you all on the next one.